He was a military genius. Soleimani is, it's difficult to convey how revered he is. Completely heroic figure, personally very brave. By killing Qasem Soleimani, the U.S. has stripped Iran of an inspirational military leader. At the time, but that's nothing compared to the murder, the assassination uh, of General Soleimani. As you've all probably heard by now, we've bombed an Iranian Revolutionary Guard commander and terrorist who is responsible for over 6,000 attacks against U.S. coalition forces and around 500 U.S. service member deaths. However, a Republican president who is obsessively hated by a partisan media approved the strike. So of course, they're siding with America's enemies and circling the wagons around a terrorist. He was a military genius. Soleimani is, it's difficult to convey how revered he is. Completely heroic figure, personally very brave. By killing Qasem Soleimani, the U.S. has stripped Iran of an inspirational military leader. At the time. But that's nothing compared to the murder or the assassination uh, of General Soleimani. The U.S. officially classified him as a terrorist, but in Iran, he was a national hero. Smart, charismatic, ruthless, strategic, and bold. This really shouldn't surprise anybody, given their anguish and praise for al-Baghdadi after he was killed by U.S. forces. If you follow me on Twitter, and if you don't, you should, by the way, you know that I have a pinned clip from ABC News' David Murr, who shockingly described the terrorist as a, quote, passionate leader. A major development in the fight against ISIS. Abu al-Baghdadi, the passionate leader with a taste for Western luxury. Others in the media echoed his praise, with the Washington Post actually calling him an austere scholar. This is a terrorist who targeted kids at a music concert. This is our enemy, a guy who has killed Americans. Why give him these accolades? To hurt Trump? Even Iraqis were celebrating this guy's death. They were even baking cakes to thank Trump. This is who CBS News calls an inspiring military genius. Where this is a crisis that President Trump has really created between the U.S. and Iran because... <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did he just say that Trump created this problem with Iran? I just love how these unhinged blind partisans like Max Boot will just rewrite history on national live television and nobody on CNN calls them on it. Although the U.S. and Iran have a long history of animosity dating back to 1979. <laughs> so Trump didn't create this problem. Relations had actually quieted down quite a bit uh, since President Obama concluded the Iranian nuclear deal. Tensions at ease, huh? In 2016, Iran took two U.S. naval vessels hostage, then took pictures of the captured U.S. sailors and used them as propaganda. Oh yeah, those tensions, those are eased. We'll get right back to this media malpractice, but first let me take a quick moment to thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. When I see reports like this coming from politically partisan media, it really comes off to me as propaganda for our enemies. The media played these exact same games during the Bush administration, yet when Obama becomes president, suddenly controversy over military conflicts is just gone. And they all dutifully lined up behind their president. Obama even promised to end all the wars, yet ended up bombing more countries than Bush did and got a Nobel Peace Prize for it. Do you remember any protests over Obama's military conflicts? I sure don't. When his administration took out the leader of Libya, Muammar Gaddafi, the media applauded it, and Hillary Clinton glowingly bragged about it. That is the land of unconfirmed radio. Yes, we came, we saw, <laughs> he died. <laughs> did it have anything to do with your visit? No, oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> You see, this is why I can't take Democrats and their media seriously when they prattle on about democracy and love of country and patriotism. Because in reality, they hate the U.S. and they want to bring it down. They only love this country when their party occupies the White House. Take, for example, Hollywood mutant Rose McGowan, who actually took to Twitter to apologize to Iran and even said that she doesn't side with the USA. 
This propaganda-addled moron actually thinks we're about to be engaged in World War III and is groveling to Iran to save lives. You can't totally blame this deluded idiot. She's a product of Hollywood and our media. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy this channel, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. However you decide to support this channel, I really appreciate it. Thank you and keep coming back. Thank <laughs> you.